Welcome to my lab. I'm going to show you something I'm definitely not proud of today. It turns out for me, the busier I become, the less I pay attention to kind of cleaning up after whatever I've been working on. So I'm going to show you around my lab. Um, I hate doing it, but uh, it's going to have a good outcome here at the end. So. So what ends up happening is I'll work on something and I'll get it working and then I'll just go start working on something else and then I'll leave the mess behind and and everything around my lab is an example of that. But that compounded by I go to a lot of yard sales and estate sales and I pick up things along the way. I don't really have a place for this stuff. So it just, well, every flat surface in this lab has got something on it. And it uh, to an unintimidated person, it looks like I'm hoarding, but it's not. I've seen a hoarder. I am not that. Uh, I just, uh, it's a struggle for me in my, in my my whole life is to stay organized. And so when I, when I quit my job 18 months ago, I started an organization on my electronic parts. If you go back and look at some pictures of the day, you'll see that. Um, but that kind of stopped when I got involved in something. I got about 50% of the way through that. You'll kind of see a little bit of that today. But I'm going to go around <clears throat> and I'm going to talk about uh, something that I bought at IKEA to solve a portion of this disaster I call my lab. So behind me is a cabinet that I just built um, that is going to have in it only test equipment. And you think, wow, what kind of test equipment do you have? I mean. I have a power supply, well, <laughs> me personally, <laughs> I'll, take you for, <laughs> I'll take you for a little tour around my lab and you can get to see how much stuff I've collected. Now this room has only been really getting stuff put in it for about, I don't know, about a year uh, and, and it, is, it is full. So let's, let's, uh, let's take a little tour, alright. So. Here's the cabinet. We'll start by looking at this countertop. This is a kitchen in a, um, <coughs> excuse me. This is a kitchen in a, in um, the room I call my lab. So over here I have my uh, reflow oven. It's a, it's an old uh, convection oven that I put a temperature controller in. Here's a high voltage transformer that goes up to about 3000 volts. Up on top is a handheld fluke. Uh, multi, uh, folk, uh, it's called a fluke meter, it's a scope. And here's a bunch of resistors and capacitors. And then up down here next to this thing, that's a variac I use for tube uh, amplifier testing. Here's an IR board heater for doing board rework. Down underneath here, this is a uh, Ethernet to remote serial interface. That's a, like a serial bridge. Here's a box of switches over the sink. Let's go up here. Up on top of this cabinet, this is a distortion analyzer that uh, I don't remember where I got that. Next to an A track player, some veins off an anemometer. Here's a old uh, Simpson handheld Simpson meter next to looks like a, a aircraft. Um, uh, fuel uh, aircraft oil temperature what are these things here oh yeah yeah this is an AM probe I got this over at a a garage sale somebody had these around this here is an antique clip on ammeter Killer, isn't it? I've got two of those up there. All right, what else is here? It's my home router. There's another one of those, and my printer. Here's some old transformers here. I don't know what we got here. Oh, this thing here. I got that. that uh, where I got those ammeters, I got this thing. This is a. Uh, This is a Radio Shack uh, Micronta multimeter tester. This thing is in mint condition. 
Now this meter here, this is exactly like the meter I had in uh, high school, well in junior high. I got this when I was about 12, my dad gave it to me. And I uh, had that all the way through high school. What's underneath here, this is a, that's a frequency counter. Yeah, uh, what's down here? There's a couple receivers in for repair. There's an old power supply. There's an old uh, 10 megahertz uh, HP oscilloscope. If we come over to this bench, here's a desktop for my lab bench. There's two Simpson analog meters there. Various boxes of junk. Here's two shelves full of crap. There's another HP uh, oscilloscope. Got all these shelves back here. Top shelf has got uh, like two HP digital multimeters. There's an 8-track player. There's two 8-track players and another meter. There's my old AM radio. Here's some uh, real antique meters here. Those are, here's our, these are uh, low current uh, clamp on a milliammeter probes. Going to use those for uh, biasing uh, tube amplifiers. There's a scope, power supply, my soldering station there. So this cabinet here, down here on the floor, behind here is a uh, logic analyzer. It's just sitting on the floor. Got this rack of equipment here. This is actually kind of organized. It's, this is all just basically power supplies here. If I go over here, here's where I put all my parts supply. I got about 50. Now I got about 100 of these blue bins. Up there, there's a there's an old analog meter there. It's a bright lamp. There's just junk everywhere in here. On this bench, oh, I have a some load resistors. I got this thing, a thermal strip. This thing is a bought this at a state sale in Los Alamos. This thing it's uh, for stripping wire. It's, these two ends heat up and you clamp your wire in there and you can strip wire with this. Over there, I got a bunch of uh, handheld fluke um, meters, a camera set up. It's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy and it's a real embarrassment for me. I can't have people come over to my... I can't have people come over to my... Uh, to my lab and show them this. this. This is the way I work. This is the way I've always worked. So, this brings me to this thing. Melanie and I were over at a wedding for Brit and Sherry's wedding in, uh, in Denver and we went by Ikea and I bought this uh, cabinet and I'm, I'm telling you, I bought this thing. I've built cabinets like this before. You know, I bought it from Target or Home Depot. And it's, you know, it's particle board. You piece everything together and you put that backpack, that back panel on and you tap in your nails and put the shelves in. But I want, <clears throat> I'm here to tell you, this cabinet is the best piece of furniture I've ever put together. Every piece was exactly engineered correctly. There was no problems putting anything together. It went together, this whole thing went together in about, uh, probably about two hours, two or three hours. It's got shelves in there, some of them are drawers, and <clears throat> it's awesome. It went together so fast and it, it everything matched. Let, let me give you some examples of some things here. So let me just show you this. So I got some fixed uh, shelves. There's like, there, that bottom one's a fixed shelf. This is actually a drawer here. It's on ball bearing slides. And these are these are pull out these pull out shelves here. They're also on ball bearing slides. They even send you a little piece of plastic, a uh, plastic dressing thing here, so you don't have to look at the at the steel. And these are fixed drawers. And these hinges, I put these giant doors on. This thing is 93 inches tall. And uh, I put these hinges in. I was thinking, man, that's going to be a pain in the ass to align these doors. Because each one of these hinges has uh, three adjustments. 
and let me just show you how these doors fit. This is the stock install. I did nothing to align these doors. I'm moving up the door now, so I'm all the way to the top. Look at how tight that door is fitting. And at the very top, these things, two things matched uh, exactly. This is the standard. I mean, I just screwed it in and I didn't do any door alignment at all. It's perfect, it's perfect. The only thing that's a that's a little bit of a problem is there's not a place, there's not a place down here to put a, a door pull. So I have to stretch. This is <laughs> this is about the extent of my stretching. So I have to stretch up here to get these things open because it fits together so well. It's just awesome. Here's my DeWalt handy drill that I talked about in a previous video. So, all right, well, uh, I got to tell you, just let me summarize here because I'm going a little bit long. This thing, I've never seen anything like this. The instructions are very clear. Not a word, uh, not a word of instruction in the instructions at all. Just a bunch of of uh, pictures. Um, so they were very clear. It's made made it very clear to me how to put it together. Very well done. Uh, hats off to IKEA for a quality product. I would buy another one of these in a heartbeat just because it's so easy to put together and it's it's uh, it's 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 a really nice piece of, of uh, thing so what my plan is here in the lab is to take all the test equipment only the test equipment no parts no wires no boxes of junk and fill this cabinet full of stuff and that's going to enable me to find everything that I need whenever I need it instead of digging under all this other stuff trying to remember where did I put it or I, you know where it is so this is a big step forward for me uh, we'll let you know how it works out thanks for watching okay I gotta show you one more thing when you put these uh, this is my example of what a box looked like when you put these frames together this typical like particle board that you kind of screw together somehow and then there's a piece of cardboard that rides on the back of this and makes it stiff so this is like the pretending to be my backing and most of these uh, uh, piece of furniture you have to put a bunch of nails in here that go into the edge of this particle board on this side it's kind of hard to always get those nails at the right place and on that back that thing is so big I think I ended up putting in about 30 nails but I used this little thing this thing came in the kit this holds your nail so that you can hold down the uh, the cardboard and put this thing on there. And this nail is at the exact right distance from the edge to get the nail to be right in the center of the particle board. Then you tap on it a little bit. And then it's got this, it holds the nail, but it also has a slot in it right there that, that, you, that the nail will come out. So <clears throat> with this, I put in 30 nails in about five minutes and I got every one of them straight up and down and in the exact right spot. Whoever came up with this has really built or understands what the frustrations are these, of these do-it-yourself cabinet builders because this thing is a beautiful piece of engineering. <laughs> Simple piece of plastic just to hold the nails. So, if I could clap with two hands, I would, but I'll just give you one of these. Yay, Ikea! We love this thing! <laughs>